What's up guys, it's Spiro from WPSociety.com and in today's video I'm gonna teach you how to design and set up beautiful DV Blurb module. Now before we get into it, I wanna invite you to join WP Society. Subscribe now, hit the notification bell and get access to step-by-step -step daily videos that are easy to follow, teaching you how to fix, build and create magic with WordPress. And now without wasting more time, let's dive in and let's get started. Alright guys, we are now inside my computer and over at WPSociety.com and this is a blog post which we are going to use to create this beautiful, neat DV Blur module design with a hover and zoom effect. If you want to check a live preview, just come over here and click on this live preview button and it will take you down underneath where you can see in live what we are about to create in next few, next couple of minutes. Uh, then also if you're a lazy one and you know, not so techy, you can use this download button and you can actually download this layout by subscribing to our email list. Just enter your name, email and click subscribe and then download layout button will appear underneath and you'll be able to download it fully for free. Also, if you want to support me and if you want to buy me a coffee, you can become my Patreon. So click on him here, become a Patreon. There is plenty of benefits of being my Patreon, like single link download to all my Divi layouts. And you can also suggest future content and many, many more. You can buy me a coffee each month, you can take me for a lunch, or you can send me out on a dinner with my partner. So if you decide to do so, I'm very thankful. And now without further ado, let's go. Let's create this custom DV Blurb module that we're talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna build it over here and I will be following these steps from the blog post. And I'm gonna leave the blog link down underneath in the description of this video. So we're gonna start by creating a new page. So I'm gonna hover over pages and click add new. And then I'm gonna give my page a title. I'm gonna call it DV Blurb module with hover and zoom effect. And then I'm gonna click use builder. And then we are going to build this from scratch. So hover over this build from scratch and click start building. And here we have to insert our row. We're gonna go with this four equal column row. And then we can insert our first module and we're gonna click here to blurb. All right. For now, we're just gonna click this checked icon, which means save changes. And then we're gonna hover over blurb. And then as you can see this green gear icon, click on it, that means row settings. And we're gonna edit some row settings. Let's quickly check the tutorial, what it says, what we are supposed to edit. So here in the row settings, you are supposed to go to design tab and we are supposed to set a custom gutter width. So go to your design tab and sizing and then activate use custom gutter width and then just scroll this slider one place back so the gutter size is two then click save changes and we're done with this step let's move to the next step editing blurb module settings so here we're gonna go to blurb general settings and we're gonna give it a title we're gonna remove a body description add a module link and upload a new or select an existing image from media library. Hover over this blurb module, but this time select module settings and then enter your title. I'm just gonna write here America. And then remove this description from a body text. Now close this text settings and click on image and icon. And then click on this placeholder image here and you'll be able to either select one of your photos or if you don't have any, you can upload a new photo. I'm just gonna select this Manhattan photo here and then I'm gonna click upload an image. Then close this image and icon section and continue on a link section. Here in the link section, it's important to notice that you have a title link URL and a module link URL. As tutorial says, we are supposed to edit module link URL. So let's go back and here enter your URL. I'm just gonna chuck in link to google.com and then just close this link and let's see what's the next step. Next is to go to blurb design settings. So we actually have to disable animation. So let's do it. Go into your design tab, scroll all the way to the bottom, find animation and here image and animation, select no animation. There is one more thing left to do in here. We should go to advanced tab, 
and then open CSS ID in classes and we should add CSS class into this blurb settings. So let's go to the blog and let's find what the name of our CSS class that we have to add and it's here. Copy this and paste it back into this CSS class field and then click this check icon which means save changes and then one more time save this draft. Let's go to tutorial because it's time to duplicate blurb module and update content on the duplicated modules. To do so we hover over this blurb module and then this middle icon says duplicate module. So click it, we want three more copies, right? And now we have to move the module. It's very simple in Divi, I hope you already know, but here move module, click and drag and drop this into your desired column, right? And just repeat the process with the other modules as well. And now it's time to update our blurb modules. And to do so again, gear icon, and then select the title. This one will be Europe. Scroll down, select the image from Europe. I'm gonna select this beautiful image from Croatia, from Pula, amazing place. And I'm gonna click upload image. And then one last thing that you have to look after is link. But I just put the random link to google.com. But if you, for example, using this uh, blurb items to link to your categories or tags or something, you definitely wanna change this module link URL. So when you do so, click this save changes and then apply new changes to these two blurbs as well. All right guys, I've applied all the changes now into my blurb modules and we can continue. Just save this draft because it's time for a last step to applying our CSS styles. So click here to exit Visual Builder and then let's go to the blog post and let's copy this CSS. Now it's recommended to add this CSS into your DV child team. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna use Team Customizer and we're gonna add it into Team Customizer. This is definitely not recommended method. If you don't know what is DV Child Team or if you don't know how to make one, make sure you check the link above because I'm gonna leave a link on my tutorial on how to create a DV or how to create any child team. To apply it through this customizer, we're gonna click into this additional settings and that's where we're gonna paste our CSS. And as soon as we paste our CSS, you'll see it's already fully working. And now I'm gonna show you how you can change the settings of this blur module. Now, color and hover effects, you can change directly from a blur settings, but some settings like this background line and this zoom effect and so on and so on, you can't do from blurb module settings, but you'll have to edit them here in, a, in your CSS. So guys, if you're happy with what you see, just click publish and you're done with tutorial. If you wanna learn how to modify, how to customize this, just keep watching. All right guys, we are in a part that is made just for these ones that want to understand what's happening in here. So guys, let's get started. This here pseudo element before that is showing actually here before the image itself. So it's over the image, right? And basically what is here over the image is this here line and this here background. Now it's transparent background so we can see the picture, but that's what we can edit in here. We can move this line left, right, up, down, like all these lines. Those are here, left, right, top and bottom. And if you put here 20, 20, 20, 20, you will see what's happening. Like line moved a little bit out. You can put percentages here if you want as well. And then you can also change the color. So right now it's a border, one pixel solid. You can make a border three pixel solid if you want. Or for example, you can put border one pixel solid, but you can also add a background and make something really nice. Like let's say background uh, and we can put black. And let's say you move the transparency to 20% and boom, look at this, right? Look how you, we got this effect. And now, because we put the background here, we in a hover effect, we also have to change opacity to something lower because we want to see the picture underneath. So let's say opacity goes to zero and a shadow goes away when we hover over, look. 
So guys, you can play with this, you can do really whatever you imagine, you can actually edit this any way you want, right? So that's pretty much it about the pseudo element before. Now, most of other things here, you can actually change from the blurb module. Like for example, you can change the font size, font weight, letter spacing, line height, uh, font itself, color of the font and color of the hover effect directly, directly from a blurb module. But there is only one last thing that we can't change from the blurb module and that's this background button I, like effect. And this background button effect we change in here. You can see here blurb category H4 module header and that's actually our background white, right? If we put it into black background, it's gonna turn background into black. Also here we can put and we can change a padding so we can make this button larger and smaller. So for example, we can make it like seven or eight pixels and 30 and now it's bigger. And then we can change a color from here as well. And on a hover effect, we can make it, we can make it on hover effect, white color and a black text. And that's guys pretty much what you can do with this button. You can also put some border here. So if you want to add a border, it's now all up to you how you're going to, you know, adjust it to match design of your website. And that's guys pretty much everything that you need to know about this DV blur modification. If you found this useful, make sure you smash the like, comment in the description below. Also, if you want to support me, check my Patreon and don't forget to share this with the other DV users. It might be useful for them as well. Now, before I knock off, I just want to let you know that if you're interested in making money online, make sure you check my number one recommendation on how to make money online, which is what I'm doing right now. Sign up for my email list and I'm going to send it over to you right away, right now. And with that being said, guys, we got to the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Also, make sure you check those two cards on the right hand side where I'm going to leave two really beneficial videos for every WordPress user. And remember, this is WP Society and we are here to help you make better websites. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again.